shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Chris out on the gold wing out on the gold wing and today is Tuesday May 7th 2019 and today I am in downtown Indianapolis downtown Indianapolis out on the gold wing y'all I have been riding the wheels off this gold wing double dark side double dark side in this video today we're gonna be bringing back up the topic of dark siding I was looking at my Facebook group and a healthy debate was brought back up once again with dark siding so today in this video we're gonna be talking about dark siding while I'm down here in downtown Indianapolis out on the gold wing out here enjoying life and having fun So what is dark siding? Dark siding is when you take a car tire and put it on the rear of your motorcycle. What is double dark siding? Double dark siding is when you take the largest rear motorcycle tire and put it on the front and turn it backwards. They call that double dark siding. I covered that in my previous dark side video, so we're not going to get into what is dark siding. Just giving you a brief rundown of what dark siding means. On my Facebook group, the topic came up about dark siding, about how bad dark siding really is, why the tire manufacturers don't recommend dark siding, why you shouldn't do it. It's bad. Ooh, you're going to crash and burn, as they say on my Facebook group. Hey, there's a picture of Reggie Miller, <laughs> number 31. I used to like Reggie Miller. I still like Reggie Miller. Man, he was one of my favorite basketball players. That guy could light him up. Man, I'm telling you. Reggie Miller. Anyway, I'm out here double dark siding. And as I was saying down here in downtown Indianapolis, the topic came up on my Facebook group is why you shouldn't dark side. So I just felt that I had the need to put this video out for some of the, the people that may be misinformed and some of the people... Uh, that may be against something that they know nothing about. So what is dark siding? We talked about that. Everybody does not qualify to dark side. I just want to uh, put that out there for some of you that's watching this video. Everybody does not qualify to dark side. Just because you have a motorcycle doesn't mean that you qualify to dark side well what are you talking about Chris qualify what do you mean by that well I'm glad you asked everybody don't need to dark side and dark siding is only if you qualify just because you have a motorcycle doesn't mean that you qualify to dark side dark siding is only for the bikers that rides a lot of miles that high mileage biker if you log a lot of miles, if you commute every day, if you find yourself going through tires twice a year, you are the perfect candidate to dark side. Everybody does not need to dark side. Just because you have a motorcycle does not qualify you to dark side. I just want to put that out there. Some people think that just because they have a motorcycle, they should have an opinion about dark siding. If you haven't tried dark siding, you shouldn't even have an opinion. If you don't log a lot of miles, you don't qualify to dark side. And that's what I'm trying to get across to some of the people that's watching this video. I'm down in downtown Indianapolis. Let me pull over. Indiana Avenue. Everybody does not qualify to dark side. Just because you own a motorcycle doesn't mean you qualify to dark side. 
just because you own a motorcycle doesn't make you a real biker. Well, what do you mean, Chris? What do you mean about making you a real biker? You know, you got some people, man, that have these uh, motorcycles and they just sit in the garage. I call them garage trophies. Can I make a right here and turn here? Yes, I can. I call them garage trophies. They just sit in the garage. They look good. You know, a lot of these Harley riders, I'm not coming down on my Harley riders, but I like to point the Harley riders out. They buy these bikes and sit them in the garage. You do not need to dock side. You're not riding. Everybody that owns a bike is not a biker. Just because you own a bike does not make you a biker. You are a motorcycle owner. That's the difference between a biker and a motorcycle owner. Some of you own a bike, but you barely ride a bike. So you shouldn't even have an opinion about dark side. And that's the thing that kind of gets under my skin sometimes is when people start interjecting their opinions and they have no idea what they're talking about. You know, they'll say stuff like, oh, you're going to crash and burn. The rim is going to come off the tire. The insurance company won't cover you. You know, just all kinds. They have no idea what they're talking about. But ask them. The next time they say something like that and you hear somebody making those kind of comments, ask them, how many miles have you logged on a car tire? How many miles in the seat have you put on a car tire? And I guarantee you, the answer would be zero. Because every dark sider that I know, once they go to a car tire, they never go back. They never go back. But when you ask these guys that's giving you all their opinions, how many miles have you actually logged on a car tire, they will tell you zero. And if you guys been keeping up with my vids, you know I will ride. You know, I have faith in the car tire. I drove uh, here recently, what, down to Florida. Been to Texas a couple of times. Been to Oklahoma a couple of times to see Brother Carnell. Been to Kansas a couple of times. Illinois. I've been all over. Arkansas, Mississippi, Georgia. I mean, I've been all over on my car tire. No problems whatsoever. The car tire performed flawlessly. As a matter of fact, I drove all the way to Indianapolis by myself. Alone. I have faith in the car tire. So when you start hearing guys making comments about a car tire is not made for a motorcycle and it's not going to work, 99% or should I say about 90% of the things we, we learn, we see. We see it with our own eyes. You see the car tires working. Ever since I put it on here, I've been to, to Knoxville, Wing Ding. I mean, just all over. I'm loving a car tire, and my tire still pretty much looks new. I haven't had zero issues. I've had zero issues with a car tire. I want to get in that wet tar there. I've had zero issues with my car tire. I've been riding from coast to coast without an issue. Down here in downtown Indianapolis, y'all, there's the Indiana University Health Building. Indiana University Health Building. If any of you guys are in the area and you want to get with me while I'm down here in Indianapolis, hit me up on Messenger. Hit me up on Messenger if you want to meet up with me while I'm down here in this Indianapolis area. But back to my dark side story. Again, you hear a lot of people that make comments about dark siding and they never even tried it. They're going to tell you that the bead on the rim is not made for a car tire. They're going to tell you that the tire manufacturers said that it's not this and it's not that. Of course they're going to tell you that. But you know, God put this in my, my spirit. He put this on my mind. Because I actually really been thinking about this a whole lot. I've really been uh, putting a lot of thought into this uh, dark siding thing. Let, let me ask this question. What is your favorite tires that you put on your automobile? Everybody out there pretty much have an automobile. What is your favorite tire? 
My favorite tire is the Michelin. I love Michelin. Uh, that's my number one tire is the Michelin tire. Some of you may like Bridgestone. Some of you may like uh, Uniroyal, uh, Continental, uh, whatever. But your favorite car tire on your car, what is your favorite? Now, my next question is, how long does it generally last? When you put a new set of tires on your car, how long does it generally last? Does it last a year, two, three, four? It lasts a while, right? Okay, so when you put a new set of tires on your car, it lasts a while. Now, let me ask you this question. The absolute cheapest car tires, how long would they last? The absolute cheapest, I mean, the, the cheapest car tires you can think of, if you put a set on your vehicle, what's the longest they would last? Now, I'm guessing maybe a year, maybe, and I'm just guessing the cheapest car tires out there, how long would it last? Okay. Now, let's talk about motorcycle tires. How long does the best motorcycle tires last? The best. I'm going to say somewhere probably around 10 to 15,000. That's about one year of use. So the absolute cheapest car tire lasts about, I don't know, maybe, what, a couple years maybe? But the best motorcycle tires would last... 10 to 15,000 miles, which is probably worth a year worth of riding, depending on how you ride. With that being said, God put this on my spirit. If every automobile out there had to change tires, just like a motorcycle have to change tires, which, is, which would be, what, once a year? Do you know what that'll do to a person's Economy, do you know what that'll do to a person's budget if they had to turn around and buy tires for their car every year? Tire manufacturers look at cars as a necessity. They look at motorcycles as a luxury. It's not the same thing. Uh, motorcycles, we're outnumbered. We're, we're, we are far and few. So they don't look at us with high priority. They look at us like the motorcycle is fun. It's not a necessity because if you think about it if a family had to buy car tires every time they turn around for their car that could actually put that family into bankruptcy if you think about it if a car had to have tires every six months every year that could actually bankrupt a family that could send the economy into a spiral Think about that. You got a lot of people out here that are just barely making it. They live in check to check. So they cannot afford to go buy tires for their car every time they turn around, right? So they make car tires to last long, at least several years. You can get several years of wear out of a car tire. But with motorcycles, they don't, it's not the same. It's a luxury. And I'm just cruising the streets of Indianapolis, y'all. Downtown. Downtown Indianapolis. There's the Riley Bennett building. I'm just cruising downtown Indianapolis. And this should be a one-way street going to the left. I don't want to screw up, y'all. I'm trying to make sure that I'm going the right direction. Downtown Indianapolis, we're just out here talking about dark siding. Everybody don't qualify to dark side. Everybody has an opinion about it, but never tried it. Everybody think it doesn't work, but they see that I'm riding from coast to coast, and they see that it's working. Everybody don't ride high miles. Just because you own a bike doesn't make you a biker. Am I right? Some of your bikes just sit in the garage and look good. Some of you clean up your bike just to ride down on Bill Street. You don't need a car tire. Car tires are for high mileage riders. High mileage. You commute to work every day. High mileage riders. 
everybody don't qualify to dark side. So that means everybody shouldn't have an opinion. But it's working for me, y'all. I got to admit, it's working for me. I drove down here to downtown Indianapolis from Memphis all by myself. I even had some night riding involved. Left out about uh, 1 o'clock in the evening, and uh, I was riding through the night. Well, not through the night, but it was some night riding involved. But I'm confident in my car tire. <laughs> so regardless of what the naysayers say, and they're going to always have an opinion. They're going to tell you that it's bad. They're going to tell you not to do it. They're going to tell you that it don't work. They're going to tell you the scientific reason that the beads don't line around with the rim. They're going to tell you that the tire manufacturer said that you shouldn't do it. They're going to tell you that the insurance company will deny your claim. They're going to tell you everything under the book, under the sun. But you ask them one question for me. Ask them, how many miles have you actually logged on a car tire? And you will be surprised at their response. I'm not. You will be. Their answer would be zero. Are they going to try to answer your question by asking you another question, but they're never going to answer the question. How many miles have you logged on a car tire? They're going to tell you. If they can admit it, they will tell you zero. They're probably not going to admit it, but if they admit it, they will tell you zero. Everybody don't qualify to ride on a car tire. Car tires are not for everybody. So just because you have a motorcycle don't mean you should put a car tire on your bike.